as of right now, I'm not sure if I'm just going to do this one video or if it will be a series of videos in which I identify some fundamental problems in our society here in the US, our pseudo-culture. Basically, I'm not doing this to be an asshole or to be mean. Nobody is. There's, there's this calling. We have this evil industry with these evil people. And I feel like most of my generation isn't present on this. And you should be. When I say that people talk big, I mean that people want to sit around, you know, a hipster in a coffee shop is a bull in a china shop. It is only, and it only leads to further ignorance and misunderstanding when you sit around and you speculate about things that we already understand are right in front of us. We know these things. The nuclear industry is a front to construct nuclear weapons. There is no reason at all why, other than greed and corruption, why you would have failing nuclear plants, one like, say, Pilgrim here in Massachusetts, that we've seen, we've collected the evidence time and time again, it has become clearer and clearer to us that this plant cannot operate safely, and yet they leave it open, and they they do this little dog and pony show, this run around, they give us the run around, and you can't you can't work in the nuclear industry and not understand the things that we protesting it understand. You can't work in that industry and not understand the dangers of a nuclear meltdown and take it just as seriously as us. But we have a lot of these. We have these, these fundamental problems, like we're, we're missing building blocks to what makes a good, informed, intelligent society. Because we're distracted. I'm distracted. I get distracted. We. I'm not perfect. I'm here to relate. I'm here to, to help people to understand what's going on because they either can't see it or they don't want to see it. When you have these failing nuclear plants there is only one thing to do with them it's to shut them down and decommission them and I mean decommission them legally do it the correct way the safe way the the safest way I mean you think about hipsters sitting around in coffee shops talking writing their blogs on their on their laptops or their phones with their free Wi-Fi and they're all talking about nothing. I mean, talk about I mean, whether it be something you're distracted by, you know, television or you know, I was in this chat room and this uh, this celebrity did this. This person's an anti-celebrity. Whatever it is. You know, I really love this coffee. It's so great. Forward to talking about UFOs and the Illuminati and, you know. These are examples of you think you know. And you want to research. You want to try to to uncover this thing that's 
pretty much already been uncovered. You're just, you're looking at it from the wrong angle. It's a misunderstanding. And I get frustrated, I get angry, and like I said, I'm not perfect, but You know, I love people. I I don't want to be some asshole. I just... It's so blatant and in your face. Leukemia. There's only one cause of leukemia. There's only one way to construct nuclear weapons. There's only one industry that's this dangerous. Wind and solar are renewable energy. Why haven't, I mean, we see wind turbines and we see solar fields, solar panels on houses, but for some reason, we haven't fully evolved and we haven't fully integrated ourselves into a new way of, of life, a new way of harnessing energy so that we can have the things we want, like this light and, you know, And I believe that people really, they have the wool pulled over their eyes. My generation is like the end of the world party generation. Oh, well, John, we're all, you know, this is too big. We can't take it on. They've got us. You know, what are we going to do? Let's just everybody take drugs and go to clubs and have fun. And look, I mean... I still have fun. There's no point in fighting for life against an evil crime syndicate like the nuclear industry and the surrounding constructs. There's no point fighting against that for life if you're going to spend that life being miserable. I understand this. But you can also find more happiness in combating this. It's it's like I was talking about that meeting. I mean, I, I spent a great deal of my life being very angry, uh, speaking um, with very violent imagery at people. And I'm just now beginning to really... I mean, you walk away from it, then you really start to turn it around. And I'm not trying to preach to people here like, Oh, I found, I found God. I found happiness. No, I don't believe it. I'm not religious. In fact, I believe religion is one of the things that... I'll make a whole other video about that. I believe that's the biggest problem in our global society. Things that contradict each other that people have warred over. For, I mean, it holds everybody back. It holds the human race back. Just like the wool being pulled over your eyes, these distractions. You don't even have to do much. It's like at my job. So there are a select few of us that have this certain task that we're supposed to complete by the end of the night. There's only a few of us. They don't ask everybody. They only ask a few of us. We're all befuddled. We don't know why it's us. We don't know why we were picked for this. But we come together, and one night, when a guy who was very integral in the you know, completion of this task every night, uh, he decided he was going to quit. He walked out. The rest of us came together, and we said, Look, if we all do a little bit, nobody has to sweat. Now, I'm not trying to condone laziness or doing the least amount of work possible. What I'm saying is, none of us even have to do much. I went to a meeting, I showed up, and I spoke my piece. I'm going to go picket Pilgrim. I mean, if we all come together in communion and speak about this, you know, it's like they always say, we're the people, we're the people. But we're not the people if we're not together on it. We're just individuals. Over here and over here. And 
And I'm so tired of people feeling like, oh, well, that's not cool, John. It's not cool to be an environmentalist. It's not cool to be a hip. I'm just a guy. I'm just a working class guy. And I love all these people. I love them. I don't, I don't do clicks anymore. I'm staying away from, it's, it's a distraction. It's what it is. They pull the wool, the wool right over your eyes. They do it right quick. And, you know, after some time, there's no escape. I don't mean to be dramatic about it, but that's what they want. And that is something that all of you understand. I know you do. Whether you talk about UFOs or the nuclear industry or... They want you to be lazy. They want you to be dumb. They want you not to stand up for your rights. It's perverse segregation of people based on what this country was based on. Now, I know we came here and we killed Native Americans, but you can break this down a million different ways in the end. They want us to be the opposite of what we were supposed to be. And this country, as a result of that, is an absolute mess. It's a nightmare. I come from a democratic family, but I don't even consider myself a... I, mean, I don't do political parties, because look at where we're at. You know, I used to, I used to be all about, you know, hardcore liberalism, stay away from the far right. Liberals don't even know what liberals are anymore. Dye your hair pink, you're transgender. I, I mean, guys, and I love everybody. I don't, gay, straight, black, white, man, woman, transgender. I love everybody. I'm very open-minded, very open-minded. But I'm saying if, if we don't all come together, then that's all, that's all potential that just, it's gone could have existed it never did when I say we need more boots on the ground the bottom line is and I'll do this myself I will I'm not stopping for anything but when we do all come together then we are the people and then we can actually enact positive change and make a difference like I was saying it's it's not that hard it's the more people that come out, the less each person has to sweat. Because when we get a big group, a big army, and we say, well, we're, this is our country, we're the people, or break it down, this is our state, this is our town, whatever. And it doesn't matter, it, whatever the cause is, I vote for, you know, from where I can see, this is the front line, this is the cause shut down nuclear, delete it from human history. Well, you can't delete it. There will always be stains on our history. All the people who have died, all the people who were affected by this, you can't erase that. You don't want to. You want to remember. You always want to remember. What I'm saying, you know, the point of me doing this isn't to be an asshole. It's to say, guys... There's only one thing we need to do, and we're not doing it. Let's come together and do it.